In my last video, I talked about the three trends which are going to drive the demand for Power BI Consulting. But in this video, I'm going to give you three reasons why nobody, including you, should be a Power BI Consultant. We're going to talk about demand versus supply, barrier to entry, and the unwinnable game. All right, let's get started. I'm Avi Singh, Microsoft MVP and a best-selling Power BI author. And not only have I helped a lot of companies as a Power BI consultant, I also train and coach others to become Power BI consultants. If you are interested in one of the, uh, those programs, then click in the corner or down in the description below. So let's get started with our three reasons. Let's start at number one, which is demand versus supply. So let's talk about the demand side this I covered in my last video about the three trends in Power BI Consulting and we talked about how these three trends are going to together drive the demand for Power BI Consulting. But as it goes in this world, demand and supply kind of go hand in hand. Now let's look at this from another perspective of a different domain. Let's look at developer population overall, right? So these are Java developers, C Sharp, Ruby, Python, whatever, all of that stuff. Now this uh, study of a global developer population, well, it has a few interesting call outs. By 2024, India will overtake the US as the largest developer population centers. And Asia Pacific and Latin America show the strongest growth in the developer population. And of course, we can see that on gig economy sites like Fiverr. There's a lot of talent in this market, which, you know, is 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 available there. And it would be a bit naive to think that Power BI is going to be any different. In fact, the early indication are it's going exactly the same way. Because again, demand and supply kind of go hand in hand. But in case of Power BI, this is made much worse by the second factor, which is the barrier to entry. Now, barrier to entry is something that makes it harder for new entrants to enter the field. But if you were to look at Power BI, uh, Power BI desktop is available for free. That's all somebody really needs to get started on it, start learning it. PowerBI.com, you can sign up for a free account there. And not just that, uh, Microsoft is pretty much giving away Power BI to corporations by bundling it for free inside the Office 365 licenses. So a lot of people have ready access and not just to the tool, but there's a lot of free training available there as well, including my 60 minute tutorial on Power BI, which has already had 1.7 million views. So you can see there's a lot of interest and everything seems to be available, readily available for free. So you can imagine what that does to the barrier to entry to this market. Well, it, it makes it low or non-existent. Now, these two factors combine to make it the unwinnable game. So think about it. How can you win this game if there is talent pouring into the market, which is smarter because they can spend a lot of hours learning, training, skilling up on Power BI. They are willing to work harder for less money. How do you compete with that? Are you going to spend even more time than them on training? Well, they can do that too. Are you going to work even longer hours? Oh, or are you going to compete on the money and, and you know start this price war and race to the bottom and really compete on, let's see who can charge the least amount of money for our work. That's not really a way to play the game or win the game. So what I say, my friends, is that if you can't win the game, you got to change the game. And that leads us to a possible solution. So let me talk about it and you can make up your mind if this would work for you. So you got to change the game. And how do you do that? Well, you don't be a Power BI consultant. Instead, you be a business consultant in a specific domain who just happens to leverage their Power BI skill to solve the business problems in that specific domain. And this is borne out not just from my own experience, but that of all the amazing members in our Power BI Consultant program. And that has been the key to their amazing success because they have focused on this specific domain and really blown it up, right? So be it healthcare or construction or call centers or renewable energy or sustainable coffee, supply chain, and a lot more. Now, 
why is this approach so powerful i'm going to talk about that but before that if you would like to join this amazing group of consultants inside our program then it's going to be opening soon and i would love to invite you there so again the link is in the corner or down in the description below go ahead and and uh, click on that to find out more information about our program so let's continue on and talk about why is this approach so powerful for that we're going to go back to our key point about barrier to entry so if you think about it from the power bi knowledge we already talked about that but if you think about it from the business expertise and even look at yourself you probably have years of experience in a specific business area now that can't be replicated that can't there's no shortcut to it uh, you most likely you can't even go to a school like think about the the industries we talked about like healthcare construction warehousing uh call centers yeah you, there's no shortcut there's no course or program that you can go do it on Udemy and get the certificate and say, hey, look, you know, I know healthcare. It just doesn't work that way. In fact, your years of experience creates a massive barrier to entry for anybody else who's looking to compete with you. Now, if you think about it carefully, this actually gives you a double advantage. How does that work? Well, the first advantage, of course, is what we've been talking about, is that if you imagine all of those techie Power BI professionals out there kind of studying up on Power BI and trying to become really good at it, well, they can't compete with you because you don't not only have the Power BI skills, but you also have the business domain knowledge. But if you look at it from the other perspective, you also have another advantage, which is against all of those business professionals. So imagine if you're a project manager and if you think about all of the other project managers out there. Well, as far as business professionals go, most business professionals don't have the technical knowledge. They don't really understand Power BI. Uh, if they even use it, they might just use it as PowerPoint, you know, to put pretty visuals together. But if you just spend a little bit of time to master the core concepts in Power BI and learn how to model and, and you know learn a bit of DAX, well, that can go a long way. And that's going to make you super powerful against all of these business professionals. They would not be able to compete with you at all. You're going to stand head and shoulders above them all. Now, if you would like to go a lot deeper into this discussion of kind of this business user versus techie, we actually had an hour long panel discussion. And I would invite you to uh, um, uh, go watch that so that you can get perspective, not just from me, but from uh, uh, several other panel experts as well. But folks, so that is my advice to you. You tell me if this makes sense to you that if you can't win the game, you got to change the game. And the way to do that is to not be a Power BI consultant. Instead, be, focus on a specific domain and leverage your Power BI skills to solve the problems in that specific domain. I'll see you next time. Until then, power on my friend.